When we're looking for bachelors, we have an open call, and we're looking for anybody who's really willing and able. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I met you on the way in. If you're willing to put yourself out there, we're willing to have you. Why do you want to be one of our bachelors this year? You know what? Nobody even told me about the auction. The bachelor auction started in 2009. The proceeds of this event directly benefit uh, all the programming at Gilda's Club Rochester. Gilda's Club is a cancer support organization uh, for men, women, children, and teens. And they come here for cancer support. The main reason um, why children come here is if they're going through treatment and their parent would like to attend family group, I watch them in Noogie Land. Noogie Land is a place that we have downstairs for our children. I believe that Gilda was the first person to come up with a noogie. If you guys don't know, one of those. We have a bunch of toys, arts and crafts for the kids to do, keep their mind off of things. Um, and we also have a teen room for the teens because sometimes the kids can get a little rambunctious down there. So they like to chill out in the teen room. We have four support group rooms. Room one, room two, room three, and then the yoga room. Once the bachelors apply to be a bachelor, we contact them, sit up a little bit, and um, interview them in the rooms of which the funding goes to, to programs. So this year we had them in Noogie Land and also in our yoga room. Phil, I'm going to have you sit on that yoga ball. Oh, right, let's go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> really? So the interviews <laughs> are so much fun. This is my chair? Yeah. This is it. Gosh, I feel special now. <laughs> you can tell a lot by somebody by how they act. You know, actions speak louder than words. So part of, you know, the commitment to the date would be making whoever bids on you, making that person feel special on the date. So how would you kind of make the person feel special? And Really, there isn't a certain way I would go about it. I would just do it. Each year, we definitely change up the interview questions a little bit so that we're learning different things about the bachelors that come out. It's just, I, I'm very into that very natural look. Jennifer Love Hewitt. I'm pretty wild. I haven't yet seen the movie Magic Mike. So when we're conducting the interview, I mean, we would be lying to ourselves if we didn't say the whole time, would I date this guy? Because that really is a qualifier. A lot of this is sort of that gut instinct, but it's important because we want our ladies that are coming out to bid to have a really good time. That's why I've been working out so hard. I gotta get this body ready. I've seen the guys two years ago. Yeah, exactly. And the questions aren't difficult, um, but we do try to be a little bit thought provoking when we ask them. Why would you put yourself out there and do the bachelor auction? Well, it's for a good cause. It, it's a great event and plus, when this opportunity came and we decided to do it, I was like, this is a no-brainer. The charity itself, like the Gilda's Club to be part of something like that. I'm so much more proud to be a part of it. That is what really makes these guys just stand out year after year. The intent is to raise awareness for Gilda's Club and also, you know, raise money to help fund this amazing organization that provides free services to people going through hard times in their life. And every year we're like, oh my gosh, we have the best crop yet, and it's a lot of fun. We have a great time. You never know what happens at these auctions. <laughs>